again. You had already thought out and you definitely know what do you want, what do you need and what you may do to construct the garden of your dreams. In one word, you have the idea. In order not to classify this idea somewhere in your memory as an unfulfilled dream, you need, as soon as possible, transform it into the concrete plan. To do it wise and not otherwise, look at this enterprise in three dimensions and consider it as an extensive project including the building and planting plan, plus financial plan, plus work plan. And that's what we shall talk about in this video. The ground plan is attached to the contract of sale. The street is here, the house is here, here is the south and here is the north. The sun rays is here. It shines the whole day like this and sets here. This part we can preserve for vegetable garden, the greenhouse or swimming pool. This part stays in the shadow for some hours. Here we can place the flower garden, the orchard, the playground, the lawn or the pond. And this part stays in the shadow the most time of the day. Ideal for the necessary buildings. Not far from the street and from the house. Very convenient. No need to walk far and all the necessary communication lines and wiring and outlets must not be laid on long distance. Up to here that was all generally speaking. And from now on to the point. Starting with the obvious, the fence. It is necessary to let the others and yourself know that this is your territory. It is necessary to keep unwanted visitors beyond and the underage and four-legged household within it. The fence alongside the street. You'll have to foresee the gates, plus minus five meters wide, in order to drive in with your own car and to provide the access to other heavy wheels, trucks for deliveries of building materials, bulldozers, excavators, concrete mixers, fire engines, you'll never know. The fence on the border between the parcels. You'll need an agreement with the neighbors. The regular rule is that the installation costs are 50-50 divided between the owners of the adjoint areas. In this case, your list C will be very useful. Just to be sure about the allowed height and the materials. Talking about the materials, there are numerous possibilities, from extremely solid till almost symbolic, but depending on your taste and budget. Oh yes, from now on it's for real. You'll have to start planning expenses. If you have a firm capital at your disposal, just divide it by the number of points in an A and B list Write this number against each of these points and adjust these numbers to the real prices. Some more for the buildings and some less for the planting. It is absolutely not difficult to know how much one or another construction will cost you. You can find all sorts of them online. Haute couture or préfabricé, including or excluding the installation. By the way, if you go for ready-to-install set, pay special attention to their surface. Those measures will be necessary for your definitive plan. If you do not have firm capital at your disposal, set aside a certain amount each year and start to use it for the most essential things. Whatsoever. Consider all these costs as an investment. At the end of the race, the well-arranged garden will significantly raise the value of your piece of land. Back to our project. Let's move from the fence to the fundamental buildings. I mean those which must stay on the solid foundation. You may get them all together. Very practical. There is only one foundation. 
one wiring line, one water pipe, one sewerage, and one path to all of them. And very convenient. Everything is by the hand in one place. No need to pull the hose to wash the car through the whole court or to run kilometers with the wheelbarrow to unload your vehicle. First good advice. If it is possible, make an agreement with their neighbors and combine your complex with their complex with the back wall just on the border. Then this back wall will cost you half price and you and your neighbors will save fence costs for this part of the border. If such arrangement is not possible, the second good advice. Place the back wall at a small distance, not more than one meter from the fence. It will be handy for its construction and maintenance, painting, repairing, cleaning, if necessary. And in the meanwhile, use the space as storage. One more important thing for planning of your complex. You can shield yourself from an unpleasant view, but a fence will not save you from unpleasant smells. Conclusion. Do not place an outdoor kitchen, resting corner, place for drying laundry close to the residence of domestic animals, waste storage area, latrine or cesspool. And even there are no such places on your territory. Have a look over the fence. So far, these are the buildings. Uh, we must bring electricity and water to them and take away the sewerage and rainwater from them. Better in straight lines. And thus, the paths may find their place just like that. All necessary communication may run under or just alongside the path. Let us check again. List A and B. Ah, yes, all the constructions for which you need to dig a pit. The third good advice. Do not plan the excavation works too close to the existing fundamental buildings. By digging, the soil under their foundation may run out with disastrous consequences. Do not look for problems. Once again, check the list A and B. Didn't forget anything? Nice. The planting plan. The biggest first. In the summer, they produce a refreshing shadow and fruit trees also refreshing fruit. But on one hand, trees take a lot of space not only above the ground, but also under the ground. The volume of their root network is equal to the volume of their crown. It means you will not be able to cultivate the soil in the area around the tree. Besides, the tree will consume moisture and nutrients from this soil. These strawberry plants are all of the same sort. But those which grow close to the tree are much smaller and produce much less berries. On the other hand, you need free access to all sides of the tree for harvesting and pruning. That is why under the tree you may only plant some spring bulbs or loan or nothing. If despite everything you insist in planting a tree, Find a place where its shadow will fall in desirable direction, where its roots will not push out the path, and where its branches will not scratch the walls and wreck tiles on the roof each time by windy weather. Very healthy, but not always very decorative plants. It is better to plant them in a sunny place, not in the front view. By planning of the vegetable garden, keep in mind the principle of crop rotation. Minimum four basic beds. 
in south-north direction. And believe me, better with the fixed covered paths. Without them, you'll be sick and tired of sweet dirt and dust, which sticks to the soles and spread itself all over the yard. And uproot weeds from the trodden ground, it is so not cool. Also very healthy and tasty perennials. And they also like to grow in the sun. Shrubs like currants, blueberry, gooseberry, honeysuckle behave themselves and are absolutely not ugly. They easily can be grown in a flower garden at the backstage, somewhere between the gladioli. But raspberries and blackberries are the case apart. You will have to tie them and prune them annually. But they are rather naughty. They make a lot of root shoots and are able to turn your borders in the green hell in a couple of years. Find for them an apart place under the sun, somewhere alongside the fence, and keep them within this place. All remaining place use for your decorative garden. The possibilities for it are simply unlimited. The mother nature offers wonderful plants for any place, climate and soil. Climbing plants for little place, creeping plants for a lot of place. There are flowering plants for a sunny place or for the shadow. For winter, spring, summer, autumn. Big and small, tall and low. The fourth good advice. Do not spend much time to make a concrete planting plan. Now, I've made many of them myself. And you know what? Not a single border in my garden completely corresponds to a single of these plants. Just stick to the following general rules. Mark the place for the borders. Make it not too wide, plus minus two meters maximum. And so that you can reach them not only from in front, but also from behind. Like this, they're easy to maintain. Place high plants behind, low ones in front. Combine them according the time of blooming, so that when one stops flowering, the others will start. Choose only the colors you like yourself. Plant as many as possible different sorts. Some of them will do very good, others will not do at all. Start planting at the places where all other works are already finished or where are no works planned. Place the fragrant plants in the areas you yourself visit often. By the doors, windows, alongside the paths, around the resting corner. By planting perennials, give them all place required. They will grow and they will need it. That's it about the planting plan. In my channel there are videos about some remarkable plants and more videos will appear. Watch, subscribe, send likes and comments. From the bottom of my heart I wish all of you successful realization of all your plans. See you very soon in Mama's garden.